All right, I'll be very quick. Um, thanks, Keith, for letting me slide into the agenda at the last minute. I just wanted to draw your attention to um, some work that uh, my colleague Andrei Robyshevsky is doing um, to survey operational data relating to routing security. Um, so the, an approach that we at the Internet Society have been taking to what we're calling routing resiliency over the last year or two at least um, is to really just talk to network operators and try and find out what their needs are in this area and what their uh, incentives to uh, deploy new mechanisms might be. Um, Adrian talked uh, this morning about um, CIDR and uh, you know, that's had a you know, patchy deployment history to date. Um, and so, you know, we're really interested in to try, trying, un, un, trying to understand what, what net, network operators need in this space um, and to foster some goodwill and, and sort of collective responsibility for um, making the uh, routing fabric more secure. And we're really sort of technology agnostic in this, so we're not trying to push any particular um, solution, any particular technical approach to securing the routing infrastructure. We're trying to look at everything that matters and everything, anything that seems to work. For, for somebody somewhere, if they say so. And, and to w raise awareness of the risks and, and really to try and um, look at this from a sort of risk um, assessment point of view and, and, and ground that in some factual data. And data is really what we need. And so we are trying to survey network operators um, and to get a better understanding of the risks and, and, and also to monitor you know, what are the dynamics? How, how are things changing in this area? Uh, in terms of uh, specific routing security incidents, whether that's uh, route hijacking of, of your prefix, of your customer's prefixes, um, or other policy violations. Um, and those, so the types of questions that we're asking are, you know, the number and type of registered incidents, incidents at your knock, where your prefix is hijacked, your customer's prefix is hijacked, um, the duration, what you perceive to be, to, you know, to the extent that you can um, um, infer or uh, identify a cause, uh, you know, what do you believe the cause to be? I thought it was very interesting that Adrian cited numbers from Google saying that 99% of, uh, of, of, of these in incidents are, you know, sort of fat fingers, uh, accidental misconfiguration. Uh, you know, I suspect that was Google trying to sort of, uh, uh, you know, assert their intuition about something and thought maybe we'll put a number on it and people think it's more believable because what we're discovering by doing some of this work is that um, there's really very little data out there. We really don't know um, how often these incidents take place, what people believe the causes to be, uh, and so on. So um, if you can help us, if you think you can extract some of this data from your NOC, um, we'd be... Uh, very grateful. Um, we're not asking for any data that would be company confidential. Um, all the data that we're asking is in the form of uh, you know, statistics, doesn't need to reveal any specific information like your AS number or prefixes. Um, and even, even given all of that, uh, the information is, is, uh, would be fully anonymized before we would share it with anyone or, and it would only be presented in a collated form. So I hope that uh, explains that you know, we're not we're not looking to, to expose or embarrass anybody by doing this. We're really trying to understand better what the dynamics of, um, uh, uh, of the environment are in this, in this case. So if you think you can help, um, uh, please get in touch either with me or, or with Andre. Or my, uh, his email address is on this slide. Um, we're also running a workshop on the uh, Friday and Saturday prior to the next IETF meeting in Atlanta. Um, so again, you know, if this is an area that interests you and you can help, uh, you have data to share, uh, please get in touch. If you can be in Atlanta, then we'd be very welcome to, to see you there. Thanks. And, uh, oh, are there any questions? Okay, okay thanks. Thanks, Matt.